Scenes from the Post Theater as graduates file in to receive their diplomas. The Education Center hosted a graduation ceremony recently at the theater. Hello and welcome to Need Week. I'm Brian Spann. We'll have all the graduates' names for you a bit later. Also this week, Fort Meade's Training Support Center continues to innovate. A look at this year's German and Italian POW remembrance and a bit of Fort Meade history. Elsewhere, in past editions of Meade Week, we've highlighted how Fort Meade's Training Support Center works with all the branches of service in helping to meet their training needs. They provide a wide variety of training items and devices, most famously the Engagement Skills Trainer, or EST. Recently, the 741st Military Intelligence Battalion's Charlie Company got together with the Training Support Center looking for ways to improve weapons qualification training. Uh, so we fired with them, uh, seeing the sort of uh, steps they have to overcome to try to get their guys up to standard, because they got to go down to Fort Walker, up to Fort Indian Town Gap to fire at the standard. Uh, one of the things that came up in the conversation was uh, the barriers. So the barriers are part of the qualification standard. They have to fire from a barrier, and they don't have them down there. Uh, the NSA doesn't require them when they fire, and it's their ranges. These guys don't have their own. So uh, we talked about maybe finding some way to get barriers here, and since the training support officer was there firing with us, you know, he started making phone calls. Uh, we shot, and then we, you know, we ended up talking about how can we improve the rangers out there, and uh, using the bar you know, getting the barriers made was one of those. Most force comm units at, at, a, at your average installation um, are shooting pop-up targets with these barriers. Um, but here, since we utilize the NSA ranges, uh, what we were able to do was utilize static targets. So when we went out there with Red and, and the TASI team, we were able to identify how to make the training more realistic um, and how to be truly in compliance with the training circular for, for weapons qualification. The barriers represent the latest example of how the training support center does what it can to meet unit training goals. As for Charlie Company, they couldn't be happier. We've utilized them for about every training event we've done. We just did Land Nav yesterday and, and we utilized um, pretty much everything they had to conduct uh, tactical casualty combat care and land navigation. This is an excellent team and they're really, really willing to work. They're excited to be here, right? They like to train the warfighters. So I'd recommend anybody um, come to TASI and make sure you use them as a resource. So if you come in, if you do need something, especially say range operations, uh, which there isn't really a setup here for that, we can reach out to Fort Walker and see where we can find some sort of uh, support from them. Uh, and, and they've made it very clear. Uh, ask and we'll see what we can do. In other news, each year Fort Meade invites the German and Italian military attaches in Washington, D.C. to join in a remembrance ceremony for 33 German and two Italian prisoners of war who perished during World War II and whose final resting place is the Fort Meade Cemetery on Rock Avenue. This year the ceremony featured special guest Major General Trevor Bradenkamp, Commander Joint Task Force National Capital Region and U.S. Army Military District of Washington. Today we continue a tradition that began just 12 short years ago to recognize the strength of the alliance between our countries and service members. Our world has changed a great deal since these young service members were laid to rest. I am humbled to join with representatives from both Germany and Italy to remember and honor the sacrifices made by their countrymen. In another historical note, recently we here at the Public Affairs Office received a framed photograph in the mail. It was taken in 1938 at Fort Meade, a picture of Training Platoon Company L. The picture was sent to us from the Commander of American Legion Post 242 in Sandston, Virginia. If you know of anyone that may be in this picture, please contact us here at the Public Affairs Office. And that's Meade Week for this week. Coming up on December 15th, it's Meade TV's annual year in review. You don't want to miss that. We close this edition with a look at all the graduates from the Joint Base Meyer-Henderson Hall Education Hub's recent graduation ceremony. I'm Brian Spann. For everyone at Meade TV and the Fort Meade Public Affairs Office, have a great weekend and a great Meade Week. <laughs>